Hey guys, welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. So, I tried to record this video yesterday and I kept on having crashes. I put in Jazzy Cat's latest version of the Ownable Low Loader trailer. And... Game kept on crashing. So I, I nuked that, went back to 1.2 of that, uh, was on 1.3. Problem solved. Yeah, lost our cargo. I think he's added new cargos in, which is just foobar in the whole uh, scenarios going on here so we're back on pro mods uh we've got we're actually connected to the trailer up in here we're hauling a, a basically a volvo dump truck so just go to world map so you guys can see we are in pro mods yeah pro mods and i was wondering what's taking him so long to get the um latest dlc into pro mods well i didn't realize i actually had a huge chunk of this area already done so that's kind of screwed them <laughs> massively. So no no doubt they're rebuilding that, adding SCS's stuff in. They've said themselves in the past in their blogs that SCS do stuff better than them. But these guys do the finer details. Just look at the UK. And there's something that I've said for time and time again. The UK needs some love from SCS. It's probably one of the oldest parts now in there is the, uh, the UK. And if you guys are wondering, I've had my radio scanner on. And uh, that's what that was. Probably picking up uh, either Airband or the train yard. So we are going from London down to Cardiff. Kind of a boring trip, but uh, let's say inaugural trip for a while. It got to a point where last week I was talking about, yeah, pro mods, pro mods, pro mods. Screw it, I'm getting pro mods again. I was holding off, but yeah, you know what? It's time. I've missed playing on the legit account, actually trying to make a company up, trying to make money. So let's hit drive and fingers crossed it's all going to load in okay. Fingers crossed it's going to work. Okay, so we are loaded in. That took a minute or two, so I'll end up cutting that off for you guys. But here we are. Our Scania with... I don't know what... That's not a real company on the back, it seems. Bell? It could be an actually a, a SES load right here. But we've got this truck, and luckily the configuration I had on the trailer, it carried over. I think they just added cargos. So we've got that. Uh, it's non-steerable. So we'll jump into the cab. I am running a mod that's appeared upon the Steam Workshop. Which gives you more wiper modes. Which is something I've always complained about. So we'll give it a go. So that's on right now. And it should be at every few seconds, so very intermittent. That was lights even. There we go. Uh, that's intermittent for sure. Let's put it in gear. Let's get going. Yep, cool. So it does appear to be working. That's cool. So it's one more click. I just put it on now. Is that top? Or is this top? That should be park. That's actually cool, I like that. It's the simple things! But it was needed. Whoa! How did that car just get by? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm easing out and... A car just darts past like that. Come on now. Alright, so that's external view. Hopefully I can do 
something without. There we go, causing too many issues. As I normally do when I'm in uh, Euro Truck or American Truck, I've got my phone going with the radio, which obviously you guys can't hear, but I have to have music or something playing while I'm playing this. Whoa! I'm just going to run right through that. What is that truck doing? Love of God. Trying to wreck me. So something I love about Pro Mods and the London aspect of that car go by is the fact that you get a real feel of driving in a friggin' town. It's awesome. It really is. It's something that I feel, as a whole, SES didn't capture. Especially in the UK. But there again, if they spent all this time in a DLC, London would be its own freaking DLC. Let's be honest here. And just look at it. Just look at the road networks. And the detail here. And to still get good FPS, like, good, fair play. Like my FPS is all over the shop, but it's holding steady. Oh, green light. And right now I'm at 40 when I'm in cab, which is kind of weird that it's dropping to 40 when I'm in cab and 75 when I'm outside of cab. Um, hello? Is there anybody home? Oh, are you kidding me? I'm done with you, car. In some of this area, it's kind of like, if any of you are old enough, and... You played the getaway. Ah, oh. like used to drive over this area. That's the London Eye down there, in the getaway. Like, ah, oh. so nostalgic. Now, admittedly, it gets to a point where it's like, oh, I'm so glad to get out of London. It would be cool if one day we get multi-drops and stuff like that in the game. I really would. Carefully bring up a coffee to my mouth. And we're a go. Truck sounds amazing. God. It's nice getting it on this profile again. So hopefully you guys have been doing good. We're eight minutes into this video already and we're not even out of London. That's why I like it. I may have almost just kissed that damn truck, uh, car. Oh, <laughs> that car would have been puckering. I need to go wide. Uh, I want this lane. I'm running this if it changes. I didn't. That's kind of comical because my base here is in London. So every time to get out of London, this is what I'm dealing with. Which, uh, I know some people may get bored of, so I'm going to start doing pro mods a bit more. I'll have to 
Is that a Tiger One tank? Well, there's a frickin' fun now. I'm pretty sure that's the War Memorial, and I'm almost 100% sure we don't have a uh, German tank at the British War Mem Memorial. Just saying. <laughs> that is, that's the Tiger One. Uh, I get what they were doing, but uh, guys, you kind of got the wrong tank. Kind of missing the exhaust stacks too. Yeah, that's a war memorial. Is this the Imperial War Museum? Not often I can get a photo that damn quick. Alright, they blur strength. Oh, that's the transaction. That'll do. That'll do. Alrighty, I saw that, I was just, that caught my eye. Big time. In this section on the GTA, I remember. GTA? No, not GTA, yeah. Uh, the getaway. I always used to tear down underneath the uh, tunnel. Alright, I think we're on our way out of London now. Yeah, on the A A4. But what do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested to know for sure. Get our side lights on. And we're heavy too. I uh, can't remember what this weighs. 30 ton. I'm using stock traffic, There's, I've, ver I've got very, very little mods actually in this game safe. May need to keep it kind of simple, especially with uh, the issues what appears to be having with the Jazzy Cat stuff right now. I'm dumping on my cruise, cruise has been set. And this is us. So I'm going to turn that on in my head. Because so, the, the one downside with the uh, truck is it drones. Like, I, I wouldn't want to drive an exhaust system on a transport truck like this. <laughs> this is just, yeah. So we're on the M25 right now, so this will be the London Ring Road. As soon as we hit the M4, we'll be great. I say this every time we go down the M4, but I'm still surprised we haven't got Bristol in. Something I'd love to see personally. So we'll get a rolling shot of us cruising. Sounds like a plane going over. Yep. 747 by the looks of things. Yep, that'd be coming out of probably Heathrow. This t this area here of London? Yeah, I, I know quite well. Too well, almost. I'll get a fuel usage up. Yeah, once it's under load is where it starts grumbling big time. Martin V has leveled up. Oh, yeah. Alright, we'll literally be on this until we hit the M4. And now we're just cruising. Just a cruising. 
So I think off camera as well, I'm going to be playing a bit more of uh, Pro Mods. So I've got really enjoy. Somewhere as well. Hopefully Jazzy Cat update updates this trailer so it actually works. So this is why you guys know. I say time and time again, this is the type of stuff I enjoy doing. So as I was saying, for the most part, we'll be running out of London, obviously. Now, if that's the case every once in a while, more than likely, I'll probably get partway through or outside of London, pull over, and then start up the video. Because, well, it was at least 10 minutes in London, alone. Which I think is cool. I like that personally. I don't know about you guys. So it'll be interesting to see your guys' opinion. It's something different. Couldn't imagine doing that at night, though. Oh. Which, to be fair, with a truck like this and a load like this, you'd be doing it at night, typically, not during the day. I would imagine, at least. Because you, could you imagine a truck of this length going <laughs> through the main streets of London during the day? Hot dang. And so I've got to have a look at as well. I remember saying this in the last video. Or the video I partly recorded before the trailer crashed constantly. Is uh, I'm going to check to see if Christian Barnes got any new sounds for this truck. As much as I love this sound, it's the drone is what bothers me. I look like a heavy haul. That's cool. So obviously we're on the M4 right now. Let's have a look whereabouts in the M4 we actually are. We're probably coming down. Yeah, that's exactly where I thought we were. But yeah, just look at it. All of the roads and the actual shop, the workshop, the main base is here, I think it is. No. Here? Yeah, here. Pretty extensive. So right there should be Bristol. Right here should be Swindon. And I, I get not having Swindon, but Bristol? Uh, I don't get that personally. So now we're cruising along quite nicely. It won't take us long. It really won't. And what are we burning? Three MPG by the looks of things. Four, seven. Now we're going downhill. Our av average is five miles per gallon by the looks of things. Which I'd actually use the heavy haul chassis if we could have this paint job on it, but you can't really, really gets to me the fact that the heavy haul stuff gets screwed with paint jobs. They really do. Yeah, so we're good for sleep. We don't need uh, fuel. Actually, slept, slept twice to get to this time to pick up the load that I was going to. It was an interesting one. I can't remember what it was. Now, it was going to be an interesting one on the old version of this trailer. Like I said, I don't think Jazzy Cat did much more of an add of a well, newer cargoes to it, which was needed. It's something that I'm surprised SES haven't done yet. Is a uh, low load of ownable trailers. I think there's going to be uh, there would be a lot of people that were into that on both American trucks and, and Euro trucks and without a shadow of a doubt. Yep, thank you Lars. 
I just got an email and I was wondering what that was. Well, I can say what it is because this is for Saturday. Uh, the new DLC for Farm Sim trailer. I just got that and maybe crashed. <laughs> Bastard. Alright. Well, we weren't going so well until I got distracted. See? Don't use your phone and drive, folks. It's kind of crazy. So many people do that still. Come on. That's kind of cool seeing the flatbeds. Oh, she's working going up the hill. Hot oh, dang. Going to shelf wheels. The jokes that I can make, but I won't. Some people are too easily offended. Some people can take the joke. But we'll be good. I don't think I went over the top of accessories. I think I just put the hat there. Which wouldn't be there if I was in the seat, because it would be on my head. Now uh, we're going, coming into Bristol around about now. Technically. Oh, goodbye cruise control. I right, tap the brake. And I have uh, engine braking on. Cruise back on. Let's yeah, see. It's, it's all compressed. That would have been on the entrance into Bristol. We've already gone through Bristol and here's the seven bridge. Bam. And extremely windy. As it always is, but... Obviously, no effect on the vehicles. Otherwise, right now, I'd be fighting it and it'd be pushing me over here. Speaking of being pushed over here. I ain't getting off cruise control for nothing. How long have we got? 44 mile remaining. I don't know, I, I, I always say this too, I don't know what bridge one is. Welcome to Wheels! We're men and men and sheep are scared. There you go, I said the joke. Couldn't help myself. If you can't take a joke. Well, that's sad. <laughs> Alright, this Cardiff. Engine breaking. Whoa. Uh, what the hell happened there? That was messed up. Well, I'd love to know what happened, but I have no freaking idea. I was driving quite nicely, then the next minute I'm on my side. Well, I'm glad I enabled this last night. Wow, shoot. That was weird, wasn't it? Maybe too heavy braking in the trailer just messed up and locked up. And Jack knifed him, calls us to flip. I'm gonna be questioning that the whole freaking way back now. So the the depot. Like, what would it cause that? Maybe I, maybe it was too heavy breaking on the trailer. I'm not sure what the stability or anything like that on the trailers are. I haven't got that newt for when I had a physics mod in, have I? I'm gonna check that quick. Options, gameplay, rain probability, random road events, brake intensity, advanced trailer company, trailer stability is way up actually.
Now to get rid of the the crap that the physics changes that I got. Yeah, that trailer's weird for the physics. To get rid of the physics commands that Squirrel recommended to put in that I noticed was messing up with heavy haul trucks. Again, no fault of his own. I had to nuke all my config folders, which wasn't a biggie, uh, but the development console wasn't enabled again and all of that stuff. That was weird. How long is this video? 25 minutes long? Wow. And t literally 10 minutes of that was in London. Crazy. Oh, here's a quarry. We'll be able to test that go down the quarry. I think what happened was the trailer tried to overrun the truck. And that just forced a jackknife. Is what it felt like. It's almost like the trailer didn't break. I'm gonna try and reenact it. Of course, we're going a lot slower. I'll try and get some speed up. So I was turning at the same time, which I think what is what caused it. now. Drive road, so I'm going to park myself right in the middle. Let's try another. It wasn't so damn expensive, I'd buy more for the fleet. And it cost quite a bit. I think I was just over 300k before I bought this trailer. But this profile is where I don't go over the top with older trucks and stuff like that. It's one that I keep pretty damn legit. It did it again, it's doing it again. I saved it then, but that was when I put the engine braking on. Because the trailer's not being applied, the brakes aren't being applied to the trailer. I, I'm I'm almost 100% on that. The truck's slowing down quicker than the trailer is, so it's overrunning it. Almost certain of that. There you go, see, 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 see. <laughs> Did it then. Uh, I'll turn off engine braking, that's gonna cause us issues. Okay, we figured out what it was. So I can use the engine braking with this trailer, I just need to be on the brakes at the same time, which makes sense. It should be around this corner. Hopefully, it's probably going to be a pain to park up. In here or down more? That's got to be down more. I've never had to try to run away like that, though. It makes sense. Because an engine brake is literally just your tractor unit, obviously. 
modern vehicles probably apply the brakes when you do that too, but God knows. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, outside view for parking. Uh, looks like we have enough room to swing around to. Beautiful. I wish the side mirrors weren't so damn intrusive up there. I, love ha I like having them on, but times where I kind of w say to myself, I probably should switch them off. Actually, you'd never do this IRL, but I'll uh, lift the tags on the trailer so it's easier to turn. Because again, I, I have this steer and switched off on this purely so it's easier to reverse. Well, if I'm going to be working outside of London, we may edit that. Alrighty, we are here, so we will switch that off, switch that off. And it hit. Is that? And then when it says hit enter, and hopefully it doesn't crash. Magic. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, a, a long one, so hopefully it's not wasted and people actually watch this and I didn't waste my time recording it because I do enjoy the Euro Truck stuff, but sometimes I just don't get the views on them, which is a shame. And it's Saturday, Saturday day trucking. So, hey, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Later.